Hey, what is up guys? I thought I'd do a recording of one of my friends, Mick RKO25, so there's a shout out for you at 224? 27? Oh god. Um, against a newbie. Okay, um... Gabriel rocks, okay, um, Mick just won here with, um, Klee's, no surprise, the tier zero deck, of course, oh my god, <laughs> um, but he, this is, um, uh, this is the build without monolith, and because it, it's not, yeah, if you're watching Bang the Future, then... Okay, the double up start. <laughs> Come on, play the scout. Play the scout. Uh, um, Cleese, I'm not a great fan of Cleese because of this. He's a Stratos every turn. Stratos is broken, but this is perfectly fine. Yes, this this card is perfectly fine. It can search out any Klee card, and you got Summoner's Art that can search for that and Monolith. These cards are perfectly legit. So, carrier from this. Carrier. Come on, sacrifice. Oh, sorry. Come on, play the sacrifice. Once you've got the monsters. Oh, holy crap, Nick. Holy crap. You've just basically given his death blow. But the main reason why this is funny is because um, last game he actually opened the exact same... I'm not sure about the mystery face down, but something's telling me that it's a skill drain for reasons. Bombless, okay. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Um... Oh, hey, he's running Fire Kings. Fire Kings, that is new. Um, that's. I would have suggested as something else uh, would be better, like Sacred Phoenix Nephthys, because that destroys all spells and traps, which is actually slightly better in this circumstance than destroying every monster. Because it would get rid of the scout, and then he'd have to waste resources to get another scout. And... Okay, and he's popping... What's he going to be popping? Okay. Okay. Well, you thought I had that plan? Um... Uh... I th mm. Yeah, he makes just noise. <laughs> well done, Mick. Well done. <laughs> um, okay, and then standby phase. Grunix come back. And MST. 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 Or wow. Okay, I don't really think that was the best thing in the world because he could just normal helix without the tribute. It'll be a bit weaker, but sacrifice. Unless he wants to do the really douchey thing and just drop killer now. Now he's gonna go for the disc. Um. And complete the scale to pendulum both of them. To pendulum this and this. Uh, no. oh. oh yeah, he has the scout there from Blaster. Oh. So as these are all pendulums from their own level. Damn it, Mick! Damn! You in a bad place. Um, except for that. That's fine. That 
scouts. Fine, scouts are still fine, but everything else, you in a bad place. You in a really bad place. Okay. At least he can get the hit off that. Um, that should be fine. Okay, um, so, what have you got now, Gabriel? Because he's between a rock and a hard place right now, and um, I don't think there's much he can do against Cleese, but main reason is my hatred for this deck has come forth because it's the first Pendulum deck, of course, like when Synchros first came out, I had hatred for them, but, um, when more pendulum based archetypes actually come out, instead of the whole archetype like this with that broken piece. With that broken piece and that, um, and they release some other stuff to support other archetypes for pendulums or make a, another whole pendulum based archetype, um, I, my hatred for it will go down. But. I still have got like a mass hatred for this and this. What does this do? I've never played Clays before. Oh, um, why didn't he search for um disc and then normal summon the disc? Cause you've got I don't know. Okay, um, here comes the sacrifice on that. Um, Okay, and then Pendulum Summon, the Scout, and but that's my like main reason for not liking it because it's basically even if you Torrential Bot Torrential or anything like that, that just it is a big field wipe. But basically, Cleese can give you the middle finger and say, "I don't care, you've stalled for one turn." Right, um, so that is something, that's something new, <laughs> it's basically like he's got the answer for Mick, but then sacrifice will get its effects and it's sent to the grave again, because this card just cannot miss timing, and killer for later, I don't know, it would actually be, well, towers for us. Fair enough, and then next turn, search for towers. Those are on 18. Wait, why do you bring that back in attack? That should only have... Summon, bloody bloody blah. This attack becomes 1-8. Uh, so that should only... He should only take 21 from that. Um... <clears throat> So he gains an extra 700. Okay, 700. He gains back. Oh, okay. Um, so he should only take 400? No, 400 less off. MP. Okay. Take away. 21. And 13. Sorry, I kind of... I take maths, except I fail at it when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! Just brain just switches off. Um... Okay... Okay... Right, um... So, uh... So, uh, yeah, that's easy. Uh, Mick wins that one, and please win as expected. So, thanks, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe always, and I'll be signing out now. Peace.